When I grow up, I want to be an actor. I really want to be a doctor. An editor. An NBA player. I plan on becoming a spokeswoman for companies representing the people, the voice of the people. The thing I most want to be is a singer. Well, I want to be a fashion designer because I absolutely love clothes. Uh, what are those people that work in the rescue again? A paramedic. Every day, I worry about my health. And if I'm not healthy now, how will it affect my future? It put so many people's lives at risk. Parents worry every second about the well-being of their child. We should find a cure because no kid should have to deal with this. We literally have to use needles and insulin just to keep ourselves alive. They should find a cure so that kids like me don't have to struggle with it and can just live a normal life. So I don't have to worry about lows and highs. So we can all live a carefree life. We all want to live long enough to see our dreams come true. It affects everything that we do. Uh, every decision that we make is, can we translate this into a child? When I see the parents come in and, and see their eyes well up with tears and things like that, and I understand that it's not just the patient. We are committed to a cure and to a world free of uh, type 1 diabetes. gets me in here every morning early and going home every night late trying to knock this out of the park. I'm very excited for what could be the outlook for the next few years. That's what makes the Biohub so comprehensive. We want a comprehensive approach. We want to tackle every facet of the problem. We're talking all clinically relevant strategy ready, uh, primed to be tested in pilot clinical trials. It gives me hope and it encourages me every day, you know, knowing that this kind of stuff is going on and I'm excited about what the future holds. Life without diabetes would be a lot less stressful, not having to worry every time I eat food. I would be able to sleep at my friend's house and I would not be asked very mean questions that make me feel bad. I could wake up one day, look at that glucose monitor, and never have to prick my finger again. And I would erase all those needles, and I would be so happy not to have another needle except for the flu shot. I would be able to dance freely and not have to worry about it, and that'd be great. Then I would stop all that nauseous and all that those high numbers and worrying about all my numbers. I could run without feeling weak or shaky or get nervous before a test and then get low in the middle of it. A future without diabetes would mean that my parents could get some sleep and we don't get as, in as many fights because I don't want to do like a blood test or I don't want to put an insulin. I would like to take that away from them and give them that gift and say, you know, look, it's over. <laughs> you can go and you can sleep easy and you can sleep through the whole night and your child's gonna be okay and wake up tomorrow just fine. No injecting, no testing. I can do whatever I want. No concerns, no high blood, no putting in carbs, and no running around with a pup. But most importantly, my life would not depend on a machine. And just everything would be better. It would be so much better. We will not stop until uh, we will get this job done and eradicate diabetes from uh, Earth. We are committed to a cure. Tomorrow is not soon enough. We're working for a future free from T1D. A future free from T1D. Free from T1D. For you and for me. Let's step up to the challenge. Let's find a cure. Let's find a cure. Let's find a cure. Let's find a cure.